All right, Josh here, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VC 2020 series. Today we're carrying on. We're currently in the Ultra Ball tier. We're going to try and get to Master Ball tier. I have lost a couple of games since, since the last episode, and I'll tell you why. Here's a handy tip. I tried to record an episode earlier when I was not in the best of moods after spending around 45 minutes trying to get my camera to work, which was extremely frustrating. I then went into recording frustrated. And when you are frustrated and annoyed, Pokemon is not the best game to play at all. And I did not do well because I was not thinking at all. But I am now, I hope, and we're going to have some good games and hopefully win and hopefully... Well, you know what, I'm, I'm never even bothered about winning. As long as they're good games, we're good. Anyway, we've got Charizard, Lycanroc, very interesting, and Klefki. Okay, so... Okay, we've got... It's sunny day, right? It's sunny day, Klefki. Let's face it. It's not going to be anything else. I kind of feel fine just to go... Talonflame Drake as well. I, I, I don't really see what they could do about that. I think Lapras is a good insurance Pokemon as well. An Arcanine, maybe? Um... I'm running off track here. Now we'll go that. I think we should be firm with that. One second. Quick massage. Not a massage, a mess massage. Uh, I can't type under pressure. I say, uh, yeah, can't can't text under pressure. Okay, yeah, kind of what I expected. So we're gonna see. Um, Sunny day, something. Now Charizard gets. Um, Charizard gets that that move. Yep. Well, um, that makes that makes sense to me. Scorching Sands. Nope. I never know what to press on this. I want to see if we've got a brown type. I honestly think we're fine just max lightning into the Charizard. Like, unless it's focus sash, then we're absolutely fine. Clefie could go sunny day. He's also got thunder. He gets thunder wave, doesn't he? He also gets screens, but I honestly, I don't think screens can save Charizard from this. And I don't think he's even Dynamaxing. So what's it doing? Scorching Sands is a pretty cool move, actually. I like it. Okay. Reflect. Oh, that doesn't go to save you. This does it. What's his focus sash? Oh. That was not a focus sash. That was a KO to Charizard. Adios, my friend. Okay, what else have we got? I'm not... I do want to get rid of Klefki, though. I, d I don't like it. It is, a, it is an annoying Pokemon to deal with. I guess Rotom could be quite scary. I, see, I think Max Lightning might just take it. It's like enough. Cool. Should I just Wormwind it? I'm going to overheat Klefki. And I'm just gonna worm wind um Black Rock. Is, he, is this the one that gets tough claws? The dynamite's in Lycan Rock. <laughs> Most of it was Klefki. <laughs> Giant keys! I think Klefki's gotta be probably one of the worst <laughs> worst designs of a Pokemon ever, but Lycan Rock's so cool. I wish it was better. Like, I, I tried to use it actually in series. Oh, in this series, actually. You know what? At the very beginning of series. Was it series 6? Why did it just go for Reflect again? When um, Porygon. Oh, yeah. Bye bye. When Porygon Z and Clefairy was like super popular on every team. What was he using to beat that? Oh, yeah. I had a really good lead for that. Like, it, I think I was using like Durant. And Mian Xiao. And oh, it's choice ban Mian Xiao because he gets in a focus. <laughs> and you just steal Spike with Kafari, which one shots with Durant, and then just <laughs> one shot Porygon Z with close combat with Mian Xiao. But then I tried it, but then what, what? 
But then I found something that decked out. It was Talonflame that ruined it. So I tried using Lycan Rock instead for close combat. It was quite good. Because I think close combat... We'd add... I can't remember what the counts were, but it somewhat worked. It is Road to us last. I, um, I can't really see us losing this at this point, to be honest. Um, what should I bring in the back? Arcanine lap first. Um... I guess I guess they they're both quite scary actually. I've I've not won this yet. This will do nothing. But I, I need to chip away at Rotom. If it if it um thingies, if it thingies, if it goes for that that move, this should kill. Yeah. If it goes for um if it goes for nasty pot, that's the worst case. I could kind of do with, with getting another tail up so Lapras outspeeds and freeze dries. Those for nasty pot. It could. It could. If I miss a couple of bolt beats, it could. I just. Um, I didn't want that either, really. Oh yeah, I'm dying to that. My talent flame is so weak. This is actually my. Ta well, it's my talent flame from. Uh, from the last games, which is honestly so. Go Wait, how many turns of tail under left? It's not so tail. You know that that battle ready function, amazing, absolutely amazing. What what a what a great addition to the game, fantastic. I don't think Tailwind's over yet, is it? Come on, what up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Th this is over. This is so super over. A bit Lapras. Go on, miss. My Drake result doesn't miss. It doesn't miss. It's gonna miss at some point. It's, it, it's gonna miss at the most crucial time. It's, it's guaranteed to miss at the crucialest times. <laughs> it always does. Okay, well we take that first one. Not be the most competitive of games, um, but the, the it was it was simple as Drake's ult in Tailwind just ran over that team. Drake's up time flame just, just ran over that completely. Get some points back. Let's go. We're 21 and 7. I wish I hadn't lost the other two games before, but never mind. It is what it is. Trainer's been found. Rank 10. Come on. Well, I mean, I reckon we're three or four games off. Okay, this is quite scary. I don't like Trotsky. I have to bring Lapras. We hate Clefable. On this channel, we don't like Clefable. Toxtricity could actually be a real, real pain. I need to bring Lapras. It's the best thing to do here. I kind of want to do something like go with like Teraki or Arcanine and like just chip away at stuff and then bring something then bring like Talonflame Lapras in the back and just run run over it like run rampant at the end I think something like that could work do I need Talonflame? I don't. I just don't think my Lapras would outspeed him. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't get that in time. Oh. Who did I bring? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. So we've, we've got some work to do. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh god. Who are leading? Please don't be talent flame. That's not what I want to see. No, oh, okay, okay, I got the correct lead in. But who have I brought in the back? Did I did I get it in in time? Was it was it not a thing at the beginning of the season? Did they patch that? Wait, like the past few seconds was a crisis. If you if you 
<sighs> okay, um, who did I bring? I brought the correct Pokemon. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, it's, um, okay, it's, um, it's time to be disruptive. Chip away at everything, then bring Talonflame in, and Wreck Shop. Okay, great. No Dynamax from Primarina. That's good, because I hate Primarina. But I don't, I love it, but it's really... Who was that? To be honest, either's bad. I really need to get rid of Clefable. Okay, well, okay, that's better. I, am, I still, I want to get rid of Clefable. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. Okay, that makes up for it. Okay. No, 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 no. No. Okay. And again. Let's go for the same thing again. No need to, no need to do anything else. We've got a good chunk on Primarina, that's nice. Questionable. Okay, we hit both this time. This should be a good chunk on, on the... That did, that did a lot. How much did that do to Clefairy? Oh, okay. I was expecting, but cool. That's going to be really hard to take down now. Primarina is in bad shape. To put it lightly. Oh. Does that not hit everybody? Look how much damage that did to Clefable. Why would you do that? Okay, the, the one thing I'm worried about here is Aqua Jet. Is he going to have Aqua Jet? Do we have Aqua Jet? I'm just going to protect just in case it has Aqua Jet because I should put it in range of extreme speed if it doesn't. Because it could do. Okay, it's just falling in. If you sparkle an Armour again, you, you knock out yourself. It. It had flipping Aqua Jet. That's not common. Does Extreme Speed knock out Primarina? Did Extreme Speed go before Follow Me? I think it does, doesn't it? I, I can't believe that had Aqua Jet! Okay. They don't have Extreme Speed though. Yes! Okay. Oh my goodness. I am so glad I protected there. That was a. Uh... That was a risk worth taking in hindsight. That's not very good. It must have been a salt. It must have been a salt vest. Yeah, I don't think you run an uh, aqua jet unless you didn't have a salt vest. Okay, it's a uh, crocodile, which is a, a bit scary. But I'll try and look a bit. Is it scarf? No, if it's scarf, you knock out your own talent flame, which is not bad. I've still not. I, I couldn't. I could see them dynamax in the crocodile. I can should be faster than crocodile. Well, off the top of my head, I can't remember. Oh, I went for double protect. Okay. Okay, well, if we get the Will Wisp off, we, we, we look at it in good shape, to be honest. We'll get it off. <laughs> oh, Rock Slides on Paul today. <laughs> today. Okay, yeah. I, 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 I think we're in very good shape now. My opponent hasn't Dynamaxed, though. Neither have I. I've got Lapras, Tarn Flame in the back. So let's see what the last one is. Lower whatever its status. If it's physical, we'll burn it. If it's special, we'll snarl it. It's Toxtricity. Okay, that's probably the scariest thing I could see. So, we're going to snarl. And... I might just close combat it. Because I want to put it in resonance range. Because if they're going to Dynamax anything, it's going to be the Toxtricity. Yeah, this is, this is going to be top to see. For sure. It'd be such a waste to Dynamax. Um... Crookedile. I don't want to use top to see. It, I mean, it's a, it's, it's max move is cool. Like, it's good. I should do, like, what, four? Ooh, not as much as I expected, actually. 
So the snarl should do a bit. It's gonna be some scarf or something then. Uh, well. I can I lift? <laughs> Let's go, I can I? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> He's locked into Earthquake. <laughs> He's gotta be. Because he wouldn't deal for that otherwise. <laughs> okay. Oh, right, okay. I think we're fine. I, I, I just need to. Um... I literally need to press Tailwind. For Tailwind Resonance. I think pretty much just wins this, doesn't it? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, time play. Get that tailwind on the guru. The G Max, the toxicity. It could protect, but let's face it, Krukadal is not knocking out Lapras. And G Max Resonance will knock out. It's got to knock out Toxtricity from there. Surely. It's got to. I'd be so surprised if it didn't. I have faith. I can't believe that Aqua Jet though. Flipping heck. Oof. That was a shocker. Really didn't... Well, I mean, I didn't think about it, obviously, because I protected, but I didn't... I thought I was being over-cautious with that, really. No max guard, this is over. Unless it doesn't KO. The the worst thing that can happen now is if this doesn't nah, but then Yeah, I, I mean that was gonna KO, wasn't it? I'm life up. And I'm pretty sure Crocodile's gotta be locked into. No, it could be Scarf. I, I can't remember how fast Crocodile is, it's unless it's like a slower I don't that could be banded, I guess. Oh, it's not! So why would you Earthquake against you? Why, why did the Earthquake? I mean, I understand Earthquaking, but like, well, why didn't you protect an Earthquake? That did so much to their Toxicity. Toxicity. Well, I mean, this is over, isn't it? Let's face it. There's, there's not really much power it can do here. You can just breathe better. I breathe better. It's not a breathe better. You know, I've never used Crocodile. That's quite interesting. I suppose it's quite good, really. Yeah. That was alright. I, th I think um, their lead was scary. Like Prima Uno is definitely can like be different. Like can be an issue for this team. Um, I think I'm going to play one more actually this episode. I know I usually do. I've only been doing two, but the first game was very quick. So let's play one more, and then we'll leave it for today. We'll leave it for today. Oh, right, we're climbing back up. So we're probably where we were at the end of the last episode. I still think we're about two games off Master Bewol. But let's have some different music. No, we didn't even get there. I can't even skip the music fast enough. Against Luke, same rank as us. And he's got an ice team. Yes! I really, really, really want to use an ice team. However, oh, Colossal's a bit of an issue. Wait, I had a lead for Colossal and I can't remember what it was. Uh, what was it? What was it? I can't remember what it was now. Damn. I genuinely can't remember what my lead was for Colossal. How do I beat Colossal with this team? Oh yeah. Wait, was that it? No, that can't be it. Does that make sense though? Oh yeah, because I can redirect the Aqua Jet. I think I want to bring Tarakion, you know. Uh, or do I? I want Tal- I don't want Tal- Yeah, I kind of want Talfone. Bring Arcanine. Oh, no, Trachyon seems like maybe a better pick. Even though Arcanine looks good, like, pre is just destroys it. Ah, this is awkward, actually. 
I'm not, oh, this really depends on what my opponent is. I'm just scared of Colossal. Colossal's so good. Like, silly good. What was my plan against Colossal? I genuinely had a solid plan for it. I can't remember what it is now. It's completely gone out of my head. I think Max Lightning? I mean, Colossal doesn't feel safe. I'm tempted just to... It's the worst case. The worst case is Manectric Dynamaxes, but it doesn't. No, I'm not sure about this. I can see a Volt Switch from, uh, from Manectric into Pre Marina. But I don't think you should Volt Switch Lapras because you'd be scared of proccing a weakness pulse, surely. Okay, yeah, fair, completely fair. Okay. Does. Can I still knock it out with Max Geyser? Quite a lot. <laughs> I could Max Geyser the Manectric. I don't want to take another Snarl though, really. Spoil the metric. They're dynamaxing. They're dynamaxing metric. Oh no, no, they're not. Okay, okay. Ah, wait. What is going on? Max Flare. Snarl Flare. That would make a lot of sense. Oh, I'm gonna meet this colossal. I should live this behind the veil. Ugh, that still does a lot of damage. Okay, so if I geyser and spore, that changes the weather, puts probably Amoongus out of max flare range. And hopefully puts my This swapped into Night Tails. Are they going for their own Aurora Veil? Okay. Well, they're not going to get it now. Okay. Um. So now I'm in at Neg 1. That did a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, man, this seems scary. I don't really like playing against... Okay, okay. Okay, Lapras Colossal's looking is in a bad position. If I hit Hydro Pump here, that's so bad for my opponent. And I feel like my opponent would want to get rid of Amoongus, so I'm going to swap into Teleflame. I don't think... I feel like they just freeze dry into Talonflame or something, into the Amoongus slot. They're not going to Blizzard, surely. Okay. <laughs> they hit! That Ninetales got eyes. 
Okay, that's a huge threat out of the way. Like, that's so good for us. Like, ah, oh, good for us. Oh, ring the church bells, that's insane. That's good, that's good, that's good. Let's go, Lapras. If we missed Hydra Pump then, though, we would be in so much trouble. Give Lapras Scald, please. Okay, I actually think we're kind of fine now. Like, I just need to freeze dry you and I'll Tailwind. And then Terrakion should be in great shape. Did they go for Protect? They must have done. Bye bye, Minute Trick. I love that you can live this. We're in Rain, which is not kind of not ideal if it's Sand Slash is the last, but I have got Terrakion, I think. I was gonna say, if you hit that. Rip. Oh, it's Primarina. <laughs> Guys, we don't like Primarina. I've got to back in though. And Amoongus. Like, everybody, uh, yeah, Primarina's kind of walled by Amoongus. I'm just going to double Ninetales. I'm not I'm not risking the overheat miss. I I, I don't want any Hypnosis shenanigans. Let's just get rid of it. T Primarina can't really beat Lapras. I mean, you can Moonblast me to death, obviously, but that KO'd anyway. Oh, that was a scary game. A scurry game. That was a scary thing. Um, Colossal is definitely a uh, something that I can't remember how I can possibly beat. I did have a really, I had a good. What was the plan? I can't remember it. Oh, actually, I think my plan was on an earlier version of this team. Because originally this team had, um, I didn't have Drake, I didn't have Drake as all, or, or Terrakion. I had, um, I had Gigalith and something. I had like a Trick Room mode, and I think the plan against Colossal was to literally just um, set Trick Room, um, to set Trick Room and just beat Colossal with, with, um, with Gigalith. Um, but obviously I can't do that anymore, so my, my plan would have been... <laughs> Maybe I, I, I must have had some sort of plan. Anyway, what we did worked out, so that's fine. It was scary though. Colossal's is a really scary Pokemon, a very, very, very good Pokemon as well. So. <sighs> but we're climbing back up, redeemed ourselves a little bit after my misfortune earlier. Uh, misfortune on my own behalf. Honestly, guys, if, you ever, if you're ever not in the mood to play Pokemon, I just never, never force it. Don't force it. It never, it never goes well. Trust me. I've made the mistake all too many times. Anyway, cheers for this episode, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all in a bit.